I'm Donald Bell for Cool Tools, and in this video, we're taking a look at 30% vinegar or 300 grain vinegar. I learned about this from a Cool Tools podcast with Jenny Jardine from Boing Boing. I got this for around $24 a gallon on Amazon. Let me say right at the top that this stuff is not like household vinegar. The stuff you buy at the supermarket has around a 3% acidity, and this has 30. At this potency, it is an acid that will burn your skin and your eyes and your lungs, and it is considered poison to consume. It's sold under the assumption that you will dilute it and protect yourself while you're handling it. I find that disposable gloves and something to cover your mouth is sufficient if you're careful, but protecting your eyes is a good idea too. So why go to all this trouble? Well, as Shinny puts it, if you're concerned about the synthetic chemicals and detergents around your home, this strong but all natural vinegar can be diluted and combined a hundred different ways to make window cleaner, bathroom cleaner, insect repellent, laundry detergent, you name it. For me, I'm looking for a non-toxic way to deal with weeds. My yard is full of them, but I know that commercial weed killers have been linked to bee colony collapse and all kinds of nasty stuff. So I bought a lawn sprayer and I poured in half a gallon of this 30% vinegar and a couple ounces of concentrated orange oil and a few pumps of dishwashing detergent, which is supposed to help the mixture stick better. I closed it up and swirled it around and tested it on a few weeds at this full strength and I could see results in just a few hours. It was crazy. That said, at this strength, it stings your eyes and your nose to use it. The vinegar stink is still pretty strong and at $24 a gallon, it's an expensive solution. So to double the value and cut down on the fumes, I diluted this with half a gallon of water to see if it would still be as effective. Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of 30% vinegar to water and another few ounces of orange oil and dish soap mixed in. The weeds didn't die quite as fast, but the result was just as effective. And now I've got an all-natural weed killer for around $6 a gallon that I can feel better about and hopefully doesn't screw with bees as much. If you want to do something similar, I've got links to the vinegar, the orange oil, the garden sprayer, and even the gloves, all in the video description down here. And remember, you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org.